Hey guys, how you doing? Larry Roper here again, Boomerang RC Jets with another no budget, low budget video production. We're here today at my home field here in beautiful Saugus, Massachusetts. It's the uh, 107th RC Flyers. I've got my uh, wingman Soren Eagle on the camera here today. So uh, we're going to do a uh, maiden flight on the V2 Sprint by Boomerang RC Jets. Many of you guys have been following my posts on Facebook and various social media sites and uh, you know I was getting ready to do this today so I figured I'd give you a little video to uh, introduce you to the new version and some things that we made changes to. Uh, first and foremost is the overall appearance. You're going to notice right away the uh, tip tanks. It's added a whole new look to the airplane, kind of brought it into the uh, modern era a little bit and uh, just really redefined the look of the airplane overall. Um, we uh, also upgraded the uh, hardware on it. No more screws and bolts going through the control surfaces. Everything is uh, composite control horns now. And nice stainless steel push rods, ball links, swivels, and clevises in there. It's still a sprint, just like it's always been. It's designed as a basic jet trainer. It's all built up construction, but we've done a lot of things to beef up the airframe because you guys like to throw bigger engines in these and you, uh, we're kind of pushing the limits of it so the fuselage now is all plywood it's a plywood box and uh, we did that because the sprint always needed some weight up the nose it was always a victim of having excessive nose weight which was dead weight so now this is just a solid plywood box in here by doing that we turned dead weight into useful weight and we've added strength to the structure by doing that we've also increased the strength of the booms strength of the wings and strength of the horizontal tail plane as well uh, with some various internal structural upgrades on it. Uh, it comes uh, with electric, it doesn't come with it, but we have electric air for it now. It's a drop-in fit and uh, it's going to be uh, available for purchase uh, if you choose to go with the Boomerang Sprint. The Sprint again is really a, a great entry-level jet. Uh, we keep it all wood construction. Most guys are familiar with wood construction and they can repair it if you have a little accident or something. Um, we are getting ready to fly it here and I'll talk a little bit about the components that I've installed in mine here. Uh, first thing you'll notice is the uh, fuel tank. It's a composite fuel tank. Uh, the factory actually sent this to me. I wasn't expecting it. Um, so we're going to test this fuel tank out today. But this thing is rock solid. Uh, standard boomerang tank shape. Holds 125 ounces of fuel. And uh, here's your fuel inlet right there with the vent and an extra fill port on it right there. We are running a King Tech K80 turbine. The dry weight on the airplane is about uh, 23 pounds, 23 and a half pounds, and the wet weight is about 30 to 31 pounds, depending on your build. I do have about 12 ounces of lead up in the nose, so we were able to reduce some of that dead weight and turn it into uh, improvements in the structure. Um, running high tech servos, so nothing fancy, high tech 5645 metal gear. I'm running a smart fly voltage regulator, so I got two lipo batteries coming in, two outlets going out, so you got battery redundancy there, regulated to six volts, so the servos are putting out about 175 ounce inches of torque, uh, which is plenty for this airframe. Uh, single battery for the turbine, and I'm also running my trusty Free Sky Tyrannus, and uh, I love this radio, can't say enough good about it. A lot of guys looking to get into jets, you know, they struggle because they might only have a seven channel radio. So I've been playing with this radio for about four or five years now. It's a 16 channel radio and uh, for a couple hundred bucks, it's been rock solid. Never had a lockout, a brownout, anything. Never lost an airplane of any sort and I fly everything from turbines to foamies on this radio. So we're going to turn it on here. Welcome to Open TX. Flaps. Up here, down, oh, full telemetry. Hello, Larry. You really turned me on. And I also installed a Cortex gyro into the airplane. We don't need it. It's not required. The boomerang is so stable. But on those really windy days, it's nice to have. Especially the older we get, we can use a little more help sometimes. Um, other than that, that's about it. Uh, everything. It's an airplane. Is an airplane. Is an airplane. And uh, we're going to get it fired up here, spooled up, and get it ready to go. One mention I do want to make is uh, on this uh, Tyrannus radio, my buddy from Israel, Leo Azave, uh, makes a great little module. And I'm able to get all my turbine data right here on my screen. This is for the Z-Koi controller. 
Leo over in Israel. Figure I'd give you a little uh, props here, buddy, and uh, show people your product. But, you know, I'm not only advertising it, but I'm using it as well. And I absolutely love it. No more taking that data terminal to the airplane. When I start up, everything is right there. So um, we're going to cut the video right here. We're going to get it fired up. You guys have all seen an engine start up before. We'll be back for the maiden flight. Don't forget, boomerangrcjets.com.